Hi, my name is Florian Edra, and along with Paul Goldsmith Pinkham and Kyle Jensen, I'm one of the authors of the study on toxic speech in economics, focusing on the website EconJob Market Rumors. In my previous video, I showed you how to determine my EJMR username given my IP address. And in this video, I'll show you how to do the reverse, how to determine my IP address given the two usernames that I created last time. It's important to know that the EGMR username scheme I'm describing here was in effect from the 8th of July 2013 to the 17th of May 2023. And if you visit the website now, the scheme is quite different. Recall from my last video that I created two posts on EJMR. I'm going to put the details for those posts on the right hand side of the screen here. We determined my username for those posts as follows. For each post, we printed out the topic ID followed by my IP address. Then we took the SHA-1 hash of that and cut out characters 10 through 13. That's my username for my first post. Now, how do we go backwards? Well, to start, we need to figure out all the IP addresses that could get the same username as me. That happens because there are many more IP addresses, 2 to the 32, than there are possible usernames, 2 to the 16. Getting this list of IPs is pretty simple. We can start with the IP address 0.0.0.0, .0 and see if it would receive the username 824E. Nope, it gets a different username. Now we can check IP address 0.0.0.1. .0 this is also different. We can repeat that process all the way through the 4.3 billion IPv4 addresses to the very last IP address, testing each of them. Now, you can see here that for those three IP addresses that we tried out, that they don't match. Now, I have compiled a list here of IP addresses that do get username 824E. For example, I'll show you here if I use this IP address, which is 1.169.104.171, that this IP would also receive 824E, as did my Yale IP address on the right of your screen. Recall also that I posted in this second topic, which was 1127329, and I received the username 607E. Like I showed you a second ago, I also compiled a second list of IP addresses that would also have received the username 607E in topic 1127329. I want you to notice that each list of IPs is about 65,500 IP addresses in length. This is what we'd expect because the false positive IP addresses, the addresses from which I did not post, are uniformly distributed over the IP address space due to the so-called avalanche property of the SHA-1 hash. The consequence of this property is quite interesting. Check this out. Which IP addresses do you think are in both lists? What's the intersection of these sets? Just one IP address, the true IP address from which I posted, 130.132.173.94.